Guys, it's me again. I know I said I wasn't going to do any more hauls, but technically this isn't a makeup haul. It's a clothing, hair product, and a few little makeup brushes haul. So I hope you enjoy this. I just got back from the store. So yeah. The first place I went was, was the general discount. And I got a whole bunch of stuff for my hair. I got the Mane and Tail Detangling Spray. I got the Mane and Tail Care Oil Cream. Which like prevents breakage, nourishes, conditions, and strengthens and fortifies your hair. I got the anti-dandruff conditioner. I also got the the herbal grow shampoo strengthens and nourishes strengthen and nourishes reduces breakage. Shampoo. And then I got this hair strengthening spray that's a daily leave-in conditioning treatment so that's what I got from there and all of these products here cost a total of 27 bucks where at the general discount store I don't know if anybody else has one but yeah and then while I was there right next door is US Tops so I got a whole bunch of clothing I got these like pajama leggings these it's like it's like they're half jean half half leggings they're jeggings they're jeggings I got these in this color and they were only $5.99 yeah so I got this pattern then I got like the jean jean looking ones uh, this style this flower and then they have like a little rips here and like different designs on each pants. That was also $5.99. Then I got another one of those but with a different design. This one's rose design. Same price. I got this red cheetah print belt because I love cheetah print and I love the color red. So, and it was only $1.99 and I needed a belt. Then I got another one of those jeggings, and I got I got it a flower pattern. It's not rose, but it's flower pattern. It's five ninety nine as well. And then I got this crop top, this tie dye crop top that was five ninety nine, and then the matching bottom, which is like this, which is also five nine. Which is also which is nine ninety nine, and then I also got this other pair of pa pa bleh, not pa jeggings. I mean, um, of jeggings, and I also and I paid. This was my the one that draw my attention to all of these, and I paid five ninety nine. So in the, in total, I spent like fifty one bucks. And it was totally worth it because look at all the clothes I got. And it will last me for a very long time. Another haul I got was a Kmart haul. And so I didn't buy any makeup. What I bought was makeup brushes because I know Wet n Wild released new brushes and I wanted to get some. I didn't buy all of them. I only bought the ones I needed. So the main one that I don't own at all of any kind is the is a fan brush so I bought it because everywhere I go I want I see the fan brush but like in the store like they're either sold out or they're like super crazy expensive oh my god it's so soft guys look at that I will be doing an in-depth <gasps> this is perfect oh my god I got one for my best friend as well because there was another fan brush and I know she doesn't own any fan brushes and we've both been dying to get a fan brush so, I think these were, I don't even know how much these were. I probably threw the receipt out. No, let me check. No. I think I threw it away. Ah! Here's the receipt. So, the fan brush was $2.99. The fan brushes were $2.99. So pretty. I'm going to keep this little protector because I don't want to damage it. They're really pretty. They're white. They have this little indent here. So I guess so you can put your finger there when you go like that. 
And I will be doing a review on these brushes. So this is the second one, which is for my best friend. Yep. And then I bought the Wet n Wild Contour Brush. This is marketed as a contour brush. And I saw a girl using it on a video. I think her name is Kate Miller. She doesn't have that many followers. And I've decided to follow her because she looked really, really nice. But yeah, she said she used this to contour, and oh my god, it's soft. And it goes, it's like, it, it would look like an angled blush brush, like you think. And then when you look here, it's really thin. So it can get deeply in here, and I'm dying to try this out. Because what I used to contour is the Real Techniques contour brush. But like, if you see the size difference, this one has, this one's thicker. So my line comes out thicker. So I usually use it on the side and then I go, but this one might just be able to, I might just be able to go like that without having to use the sides and whatnot. It's nice. And then the one, the other one I bought was because we all know flat top brushes are all the rave nowadays for foundation and whatnot. And so this one was... $2.99. All of my all the face brushes are $2.99. And all of the I mean it's dense, but it's not as dense, but it's really, really soft. And I'm really excited to use it. There is no shedding so far, and I'm playing with it, playing with it. They seem really strong and sturdy. And compared to the old Wet n Wild brushes, like the the Freggy ones. I gotta say I like these better because while these are soft and I do use these a lot, but I gave some of them to my mom because the ones I mainly use are the Avon ones, but this one, I'm going to do a video using this for foundation. I mean, it seems like it would do foundation. Like, she also used it in the video to put on her foundation and she was surprised that there were no streaks in it. We just got a blend, but there's no streaks. And uh, but then I saw another girl in another video said that she liked it, but she didn't like it because it left streaks. But she liked it at the same time. She just wished it was more dense, like they, they packed in more brush, more bristles. Um, a good thing about When Wild that I love a lot is they're cruelty free, gluten free, and they're vegan. So these are not goat hair brushes, and I do not use goat hair brushes at all whatsoever I refuse because the way they get goat hair brushes is they can't defur the animal while it's dead because then the fur isn't as soft so they have to defur the animal while the animal's still alive so that the fur can remain soft and they can use it for brushes and stuff like that so that is why I do not use that and that is why I'm a big fan and supporter of Wet n Wild and of NYX as well, NYX is cruelty free so yes and I will be doing a video. Oh my god, I can't stop obsessing with this brush. So that was my haul today, guys. I will be doing, like, my hair care routine using all these products, showing you how they work. And I will be doing another video very shortly on... Oh, I forgot to show you how much I spent. For these brushes, I spent a total of $12.80. And that's it. Uh, my, my makeup collection is not... I mean, I would say...